Oh, whoops. I have my headset disabled. One second. Okay. Look at how boring I am. All three of those files are named Link. This is the part of the game where dungeons start to get a little interesting. Oh, I'm... I fucked up. I forgot to get the song before coming here. God damn it. Yeah, this game didn't have very many dungeons. Technically four, unless you want to count the Forsaken Fortress and Ganon's Castle. Neither of which are proper dungeons, to be honest. Oh, before I can get the song, I also need to get the, uh, items. Oh, this isn't a complete waste. They do need to be here. I need to go to the volcano. There's treasure here. Okay, treasure chart 37 is the one I'm near right now. I'll get that after this. I think that one's a piece of heart. 
If not, then it's gonna be a big rupee, which I could also use money, because I'm gonna be getting the Triforce charts tonight. Um, I looked into it. It was actually 398 per Triforce chart deciphering. Not 364 or whatever it was I said last time. Um, and in the original GameCube version, because there was eight charts you had to decipher, it came out to like 4,000 rupees, like just under. This one, it's just over a thousand. So they really cut that down. Which is a good thing. It's definitely the slowest part of the game. For whatever reason, they rushed this game, and a lot of stuff ended up getting cut, unfortunately. A lot of dungeons ended up getting reused in Twilight Princess. Um... Not entirely true, Hugo. Ocarina of Time had a power bracelet, but it was just a single one. If you want to count that. It was the Goron bracelet that Darunia gave you. It was technically a power bracelet. I kind of want money more than I want a piece of heart. Cool. 200 rupees. I should also do those fairy islands. Like the one that used the hammer. That I saw last time. While I'm at it, I should do the uh, Ice Ring Isle too. And then I'll just go to the Earth Temple from there. Get the song, and then come back for Medley. Because I'm in the Neater. So I've already decided on uh, who I'm going to play as in my next uh, Wind Waker randomizer run. I ain't spoiling. It might not be what you expect. I wish more Zelda randomizers gave you the customizable player models. I'd love that. Ocarina of Time randomizer could use something like that. I want to play as crusty N64 Tingle. Um, Link to the Past randomizer has, uh, custom sprites. 
Also, Zelda 1 has custom sprites. And, oh, Zelda 1 and 2. Yeah, they all do. Uh, all the, the first three 2D Zeldas have custom sprites. Um, Zelda 1 Randomizer, you can play as, like, the Old Man, Lionel. Pretty much all the enemies in the game are playable, and there's, like, some custom ones. Uh, Zelda 2, you can play as Error. Yeah. When it comes to randomizers, Zelda seems to get, like, the most love. Like, Wind Waker Randomizer is still getting updates to this day to, like, add more stuff to it. Like, um, the new version? This is something they've added since I last, um, did my randomizer stream, uh, back in the day. They added, uh, a counter that keeps track of how many Tingle statues you've found. Like, little things like that. Really nice. Like, they added little custom additions to the menu, which is really cool. That kind of stuff's usually hard to pull off while find the menus. The way that stuff is baked into the game tends to make it a challenge. Fucking keys. Get away from me. They're gonna be dinked. Okay, I got both the tools. Make this interesting. I'm gonna let them all out. I've been playing on my 3DS all day, so this control stick feels really weird right now.
I'm alright, Blood Angel. How are you doing? So, once I get this done, I am planning on getting some Persona streams in before I go on my trip. I want to get back into regular streaming again, because that shit's been a good way to curb my depression. I just don't like the hassle of getting it all uploaded on YouTube. Vinny doesn't know how lucky he is. Got like a thousand people all backing everything up and managing shit. Oh, right, I was gonna go straight for here. I gotta figure out how to get all that Minecraft stuff moved over. I kind of miss the Minecraft stream and want to bring it back at some point. I'd like to get the old save up with all the same mods moved over. Barely touched Twilight Forest in the uh, Between World Swamp thing. What am I doing with my life? The only Zora in the entire game, and they're dead. A great hero chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Larudo. I am a Zora sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here within the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost this power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in the Enchanted Blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another 
to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries my bloodline, the one who holds the sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of a new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when a sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. It's strange to think that in order to adapt to Hyrule being flooded, the Zora evolved into ducks. They're already fish. This is ideal for them. The excuse I'll give is that there are freshwater Zoras. The ones in Majora's Mask are the only saltwater Zoras, and that's a parallel universe, so they don't count. That's the logic I always looked at it. still a silly thing to think about. Like, you'd think that they would evolve to adapt to salt water and not turn into a completely different species. Not that I'm complaining, though, because Lorito are probably one of my favorite races. Second only to Gorons. I'm really... I was really happy they brought them back in Breath of the Wild. I thought Wind Waker was the only time we were ever going to see them. That was a really great surprise. And then hearing the Dragon Roost theme at the Rito uh, town. Like a new rendition of it. I love that. What a good game. Have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship right near the sledder. Isn't that neat? First, I was really scared, but they're all actually nice for pirates, I mean. Mr. Guns is a really big guy, but ever since Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. As for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako's pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. Hehe. <laughs> As usual, Nico's always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, it seems sad not to have you around anymore. Are you guys good friends? I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself. So you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Errol. Yeah, they, they weren't in any of the DS Zeldas. Like, Wind Waker was the only Zelda where they ever showed up. And then out of nowhere, it's like, hey, they're in Wind Waker, uh, they're in Breath of the Wild. I hope they become a mainstay. They deserve to be right up there with the Zoras and Gorons as main races. And the Gerudo. Now, Breath of the Wild 2... Being the Majora's Mask, being what Majora's Mask was to Ocarina, they need to bring back the transformation masks. Give us a Goron mask, a Zora mask, and a fucking Rito mask. How awesome that would be. And if they were to use the champions for it, that would also mean a Gerudo mask. Basically, the only power that the Gruda Mask would give you is Link just becomes dummy thick. I made myself cringe there. You're okay. You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. 
Prince Kamali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's been begun to do things on his own without my guidance. Every consideration still ends up centered on you, though. Conversation. Uh, on you, though, Link. Watching Prince Kamali fills the... Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird am I sound? Hehe. <laughs> well, I'd better continue practicing so that I can be useful around here, too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Link, will you conduct me? Wonder how I'll do. What is wrong with me? I had it. God damn. Wait, what? Oh, is that the... Shit. You know something I liked about the 3DS remakes was being able to see the notes while you're playing. You know what? This probably has that too. Yeah, it does. I'm a dumbass. I just had to look at my fucking gamepad. <laughs> The song I played was the wind one. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. I didn't even have her paying attention. Oh, this is turning into a train wreck. There we go. What a mysterious song. It sounds so familiar. It's almost as if something I'd forgotten is trying to be remembered. Uh, I feel... Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something that I must do. Link, thanks to you I've been waking to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please, you must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword.
to go now, quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali, I just wanted to remember me as a simple attendant. I'm gonna go back real quick because there's some dialogue you can get from Kamali. And then the dialogue changes later. So let's not miss that. Because this one's actually kind of interesting. Wait, what? He's supposed to be standing here with the... F Maybe it's after the temple. There's a rupee down there. All I'll say is this. Kamali wants to get his duck sucked. Probably not the most efficient way to do that. Oh, while I'm here, too, there's a chest over here I can get now. I could have got this a while ago using a gull, but... little over 300 rupees and I'll have enough to get all the charts deciphered. Yeah, Kamali, I got your girl in my boat. You know what? Medley, I hope you don't mind. We're gonna make a quick pit stop. I can get more arrows. I wonder if I could get my car on my boat, too. Like, both of them at the same time. I've never tried that. I'm sure you could. That's probably why they have him stand on the head of the boat. Last stream, I came to this island, and I didn't have the hammer that I needed.
double my arrow capacity. If only she filled it too while she was at it. Oh, well, I guess she did. Never mind. It just didn't update until the dialogue ended. Okay, dungeon time. I'm going the wrong way. East. Medley, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The temple ahead is an, the nest of an evil creature, the same creature that stole the life of your predecessor. The sage is a dark and frightening place. That is why if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If Fleet comes near, I just teach him to call her. Repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword. I have an ingrown hair in the back of my head and it's so goddamn sore. I really like the idea of having followers in Zelda games. Probably not gonna happen, but I'd love something like that in Breath of the Wild too. I know a lot of people would be really happy to have side on following them around on their adventure, acting as like a partner while fighting. Maybe even being an optional second player. Finally have co-op in a like an actual Zelda game, proper co-op. Bye. 
Okay, okay, you don't have to hold my hand. Oh, uh, yeah. Scripted capture. Or not. No, no, I'm thinking of the one the car goes through. That 
was a floor master. In Ocarina of Time, it was just a severed hand that split into three little ones when you killed it. And it, like, flew around the room. For some reason, they redesigned them and they look more like the Dexy hands from Majora's Mask. That's what I was talking about in the last stream. Okay, I had a feeling. I gotta ditch you for a bit. Or not. I need the mirror shield. I just needed the key in here. If Medley gets captured by one of the hands, that's where she shows up. I have to use the command melody to get her out. Because she's too stupid to fly over it herself. <laughs> What, the uh, Floor Master? Yet the Floor Masters in this game are really annoying, too. Some of them, like, behave differently. They'll hide in the ground constantly. Oh, what, the Poe? The Poe's are a little annoying, but you can kill them by just letting them possess you. Oh. Oh, I think I know what you're thinking of. Yeah, I think I know why you're keeping quiet about it, too. You don't want to spoil that one. The dying elephant, as we'll hint... Okay, I need... Good enough. The Stalfos in this game are kind of a pain in the ass. Skyward Sword, they're, I mean, um, Twilight Princess, they're pretty quick and easy to dispatch. Just knock around a couple times and then drop a bomb. You can, like, instantly down them with the ball and chain.
I should have flew her up there before closing out of command. You can actually squash her in this room. If you put her in this little alcove here and then push the block in. You can squish her and it causes a void out. <laughs> I forgot to do that. Don't worry about straying from Medley. Yeah, it lets me know that she appears on the map. you're invited. Do the possession thing. Do it. Do it. Alright, he's not gonna do it. I'll have to use medley. Treasure chart in there. I know why they weren't possessing me. They still had their lantern. If they lose their lantern, then possession becomes their only means of attack. If they possess you, it reverses your controls for a brief time, and then they die. I'm good at, um... Adapting to the reversed controls. So sometimes I just let them possess me so that they die. Really? That confused you? We're getting on, Hugo. I do believe this room. We're gonna see that redesign you were talking about. In the chat there. Yeah. You might remember these guys from Ocarina of Time. They looked a little different then, though. That's a fucking redead, apparently. And for some reason, they use an elephant noise. They were so, like, intimidating in Ocarina of Time. And this is just like doofy. It 
is. I'm allowed to bring medley in here. We're getting to the danger zone. Yeah. Link somehow just knows. He's got like a fucking ghost sense like Danny Phantom. And he knows that there's some boners in here. These guys aren't as tough as I remember. I guess my uh, playthroughs of Randomizer have tainted my opinion of them because of how many times I've had to fight them with like, like, the base sword. Also, I think bombs actually collapse them now that I think of it. That's pretty effective. I need to get over that. I have like this really bad habit of grabbing items that I already have full. Like, I don't need bombs. I don't need magic. Arrows are full. I, I just gotta break out of that habit. Okay. I'm a simple man. I see shiny item. I have to pick it up. I like the mirror shield design in this game. It has colors that actually complement the Master Sword. Although the one in Ocarina of Time does go good with the red tunic. Now if only the Big Orange Sword had a red handle. like bacon in here. Oh, fuck you. Actually get the chest up here. I think I opened it up and oh, I got it. He walked right into the beam. Thank <laughs> you. 
What? what? But. Come on, please. Come on, please. But you're a burp. How hard was that? <laughs> Stupid duck. sure if that was really worth the effort of doing the song again. Should be getting close to a very pivotal moment in this dungeon. One treasure in this dungeon more important than the Master Sword upgrade. The Earth Tingle statue. It's cool and damp and smells like mold. It will be waiting for you on Tingle Island. I'm not entirely sure what the point is in having multiples of these stone tablets. One could say it's to make sure you have medley with you, but the things that require her reflecting light kind of do that already.
Okay, Medley, you stay here or you're gonna end up getting yourself caught. I actually know a good combo for fighting these things to Vinny. Just shatter them. gonna leave you in here. This room's not gonna be safe at all. Made me clench. You're a cock. Oh, fuck off. That was nice how the hammer went right through it. And then just instant grab. That's one of those shitty ones that I talked about earlier. The ones that'll absolutely insist on staying underground until you're right up on them, and it, the second they touch you, you get pulled under. I hate them. I got what was important out of that room anyways. I don't need to go back in there. If you kill all of the floor masters in there, a chest appears, and it's got, like, either a piece of heart or a chest. I don't really care. Or a treasure chart. I'm not doing 100% run, so... I'll worry about that crap room when I do my next randomizer run.
Um, I'm in the middle of something here, Medley. I'm gonna give you full responsibility for that death medley. I think I'm getting to a room that I've not been looking forward to. Not this one, I think it's the one after it. The big mirror room. A little tedious. Something that would have been kind of nice for the Wii U remake, that would have made good use of the gamepad. Instead of having to use the command melody to command medley in my car, just have like a little button up here on the joy on the touchpad. And it'd be like a little thing to switch between her and Link. And it'd just be instant. Like, you would press it and it would do the whole wah, wah, and go into her. I usually throw it at them the way I do because I don't want to be within their swing radius.
Okay, getting close. There's the boss room. They should, uh... Where are you? No fairy. Oh, that might be a problem. I'll be fine. I still have one more fairy and two helpings of soup. Damn you, cat. Why do you come in here if you're just gonna... One second, guys. I gotta let the cat out of my room. He follows in my he follows me into my room so that he can lay on my bed for an hour. And then he asks me to go out so he can lay on the couch instead. Like where does it matter where you're laying if all you're doing is laying around? This is the room. All right. And I made more work for myself by not pushing mirrors beforehand. Should have enough rupees to get all my charts deciphered. If not, I will by the time I get to them tonight. Especially since some of the spots that have the charts have jars full of rupees in them. Oh, now you can jump down. Okay. 
We got the Boner Brothers. God damn. It's okay though, because he warped back up. That's fair. His head falls off the map, so I'm cheated out of uh, being able to hit it. <laughs> the least she could do is just let it die. So this room was entirely optional. It might be a treasure chart. I swear to God, if it's just another goddamn joy pendant. There we go.
Yeah, there's a purple in there. I'm pretty positive I have enough rupees for all the, uh, chart deciphering stuff. Last time I'll be needing medley. Not really much point in bringing her any further because she can't go in the boss room. Leave her there. No fairies at all. It's okay. I'm low on health, but I do have two helpings of soup and a fairy. I've got to fight Bulasis from Luigi's Mansion. I just wanted to roll. He is dummy thick.
three cycles, not bad. time. That's a very janky loop that Link's got there. It kind of like freezes for a second. Old game. power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now Link, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And Link, uh, about Prince Kamali. Please watch over him for me. that. I have some stuff I can do in the northeast related to Triforce Hunt. While I'm at it, I'll take a look at what I was trying to do earlier. It should be there now. Oh, he's down here. Link, you know Medley, don't you? I think something weird happened to her. It stinks, too, because I went all the trouble of picking this flower to surprise her with, and now she's not around. He wants his duck sucked. Uh, later when you come back, he says basically the same thing, except the flower wilted. He's like, I wanted to give her this, but now it's all wilted. As a kid, I bottled up some water and tried to use it to unwilt the flower. <laughs> I can't 
can't. Okay. Let's take a look at the incredible chart. Okay, so this one has no uh, chart. It's going to be just the Triforce piece. So there's eight Triforce shards you have to collect. In the original GameCube version, all of them were tied to a Triforce chart. These locations that I'm going to were originally where you got the Triforce charts and you'd open them up to have, and you'd bring them to Tingle and you'd pay to have them deciphered so that you could use them. Oh, I can't do this one yet because I need the hook shot. Okay, so that'll be after wind, the Wind Temple. There's another one here, but I also need the hook shot for that. I believe this is where you get the ghost ship char. Again, though, I need the hook shot. Oh, a lot of these need the hook shot. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. That's what I get for staring at my chart and not looking for seagulls. Okay, this I know I can do because you just need bombs.
This one's gonna be a chart instead of a piece. here that I can get. Barely even encountered any warships up until now. Okay, I'm just gonna Yeah, if I keep going east, there's an actual piece over here. Combat dungeon.
easy room. Why the hurricane spin is kind of useless outside of fighting the boss earlier. Any other situation, everything's like too up in your face. You didn't even get an opportunity to charge it. Okay, so that one you get a Triforce piece instead of a chart. Okay. Now, I know that the place east of here is... Gabana, which I can't do just yet. So I'm gonna leave that one for now. There's one further east of that, though. The king, like, mentions them, too. He's like, hey, keep your eye out on these, but it really isn't something you really have to do until then. Um, and to be honest, it's better to do it then anyways, because most of them, as we've seen, require the hook shot anyways. Okay, I do have a Hoi pair, which I'm going to need. What's this one, a piece or a chart? It's going to be a chart.
Okay, so with this, I'll have all of the Triforce charts. Oh, fuck you. I was wondering if my bow could even shoot that far. Oh, I actually managed to get them all. I always run out of arrows before I manage to hit the circling one. That was a treasure light. This is probably going to be another combat dungeon. Nope. That was the trial. Quick and easy. Just had to do a little sniping. I'm making perfect timing on this too. My phone's getting close to dead. I should have enough time to get these deciphered and then fish them up. And I'll have four out of eight pieces gathered. Okay, I have all three charts. No. Yeah, I, as I said a few times before now, it used to be that there were eight charts. It used to be eight charts. And every single tri Triforce piece had to be fished with these charts. They streamlined it for the uh, remaster, so you only have to get three charts. And the other five you can just get. Which saves you on a lot of money. Because each chart costs 398 rupees to decipher. So that saves you about 3,000 rupees. Just one away from achieving perfection. This 
guy has another brother. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Oh. Thank you for the gift. I know that Tingle statues are quite hard to come by. Uh, it's not much, but please take this. I don't know what my big brother is like, but please play with him again soon. Otherwise, he gets out of uh, he gets out of sorts. Ah, oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Mm hmm. Mm, that fragrant, musty scent, sir. You found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Right. You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you for 398 rupees? Dingle, dingle, kaloo, limp, pa, become readable. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original, too. It would just close the dialogue and you had to go through it all again. This one, you just do them all in a row. According to my map here. Oh, that's a treasure I already gotten, isn't it? Shit. Okay, it does kind of pay to have your chart filled out because then you can see where stuff is. I'm gonna do a little Google search here. HD Triforce Sharp One. Great Fish Isle. Um, they actually do have knock. Normally, you could only get them by using the Tingle Tuner in the original. But since he isn't. There is no Tingle Tuner in the remaster. Um, he instead appears if you get all the statues.
There it is. I'm getting the next one. What's... Google is so useless. Stone Watcher Island. Star Isles. Okay, I have to go back to that island with the giant head. And then the last one's on Seven Star Island, which I can't quite recall the location of that. Oh, I'm a dumbass. My incredible chart literally shows. Once you have the chart deciphered, the Triforce piece just appears on the incredible chart. I forgot how handy this map is. I don't have to look at the C chart, I can just look at this. This incarnation of Tingle may be a cheapskate, but goddamn, his maps are still just as useful as always. chart. Just east of Forest Haven.
This was always like the most unpopular part of the game. For obvious reasons. It is good that they made it a little less tedious by cutting down the charts, but... Yeah, it's still padding. They gotta make up for that lack of dungeons. Majora's Mask had only four dungeons too, but that one they had all these side quests and stuff you could do. This one does have like a lot of fun stuff you could do, like side islands, but nothing like big. There isn't anything like the Kafu, Cafe and Anju quest that Majora's Mask had. Okay, so... With that, I am at four pieces. Four out of eight. The next stream, I will get the rest uh, right after I beat Windfall, or Wind Temple. I'll sail the Gale Island and then I'll cut the stream there. It'll be a good spot to save. Actually, before I do that. Okay, wind's going the right way. I'm here. It's nighttime. There's a couple side quests I could do here real quick. And then I'll sail Gale Island. Because I'm just... I just love stalling this... Game. Uh... I'm being a numbass. It's over here. I can't believe all this time and I still haven't activated the windmill. I can also get the fourth bottle here. Oh, you cock. Pretty sure this is just a C chart. <laughs>
Take off. Go away. Who's that? And so Link pretends to be a cat. Why did they model Link's Nifkin? There are no cats, cats in this entire game. How does Link even know what a cat is? Or what they sound like? He grew up in an island where only pigs exist. That's a good question. <laughs> you startled me. What do you want? My, my heart is racing. You scared me. W wait, are you... The kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Who do you think you are, anyway? I'm an ally of justice. That what? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse, that's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. I don't owe you shit. Sure. I was once the richest little... Uh, debutante in this town. Do you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. Oh, boy, there goes my bet. 15%. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open-air shop. So, cause, as you can see... At least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events of my pit of, uh, pitiable life? And to make matters worse, for some reason, I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. You understand my plight? Then you let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. It's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I'll never do anything like that again. Oh, what an amazing feeling. Let me at least thank you. Please take this. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. Washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. I was going to use it to sell my gamer girl pee on the internet to get my money back. Wish it could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Hmm. So, uh, I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. Good luck to you. Bye. Thanks for tonight. There's a joke to be made here, and it's already been made multiple times on Roll 34. 
Did people make a cum jar of her? Oh no. I don't know if I want that question answered. Oh, oh, I gotcha. Hey, I know a good way you can make 658 rupees. Why don't you, uh, get on your knees and shine my boots. Get your head out of the gutter. All right. This is the place. I'm gonna call it here. Tomorrow will probably be the final stream. Oh, I don't know about that. Ganon's Tower might be its own stream. Yeah, that might be the best. So, there's two streams left of this game. My battery's just about dead, so I'm gonna shut this down now. See you guys around.